morning, Lainey here. We are leaving the Yuma Imperial Dam LTVA today. We have been here since January 11th, and today is St. Patrick's Day, and it's so that's March 17th. We are going to Holtville, and we're going to camp there for a little bit, and then we are leaving next week for Oregon, and we're going to take our time. We have to be at our job the last week in April. And so we're going to take a little bit of time and enjoy the scenery and the drive. I am pulling with the RV, newly christened Lulu. I am pulling Dave's trailer, our friend Dave. He is such a great guy, um, but he is legally blind, so he can't drive. So he has to have someone drive him. And uh, this year, when we were in Slab City, he acquired a little tiny travel trailer, which is easy for Lulu to pull. So he needs to go to Oregon as well. So we will be pulling Dave up to Oregon behind Lulu. So that's kind of exciting. Um... While we are in Holtville, we are going to be finishing the repairs on Lulu, and Corvus has some things that he needs to do to his house, and Dave has some things he wants to do to his little trailer. So we'll be busy for the week plus that we are in Holtville. Um, I have a doctor's appointment next week in Yuma, which is why we're hanging close, but we couldn't do the kind of work we need to do here at the LTVA, so we're going to Holtville and uh, camping out in no man's land. Plus, thank God there is a good signal there. So I will be able to actually post the videos that I have been making while I have been here in no signal land. Just an FYI, if you ever want to come to the LTVA here at Imperial Dam, this little building right here, off to my right, is the ranger station where you get your permits. And then right past that, and this is on Senator Wash Road, and right past that are the dumpsters. And so the first thing you're going to come to is the uh, dump station, but you have to come into it from the other side. Second thing is the, um, the dumpsters, and then the third thing is the freshwater fill. So we're getting water here. Hey everybody, guess where I am? There's Jack. Does anybody recognize this terrain? Yes, it's the desert. No, it's not Arizona. It's California. There's Lulu. She's going to get a paint job. I am back in Holtville Hot Springs. In the 14 day area, there's Dave's trailer. I towed it here. Corvus's rig right there, his motorcycle. The dogs are ecstatic because they don't have to be on the leash. There's Juno. And when we drove past the hot springs, it looked like it was open. So Corvus and I are about to drive down there and check it out now that we have our camp all set up. So. I'll get that on video too. You know there was a fire there, so we're going to go check that out and see what it looks like now. Can you guess what this is? <laughs> this is the thing that they put up to keep us from going into the parking lot at Holtville Hot Springs. It's pretty big. Oh, uh, look, there's a mask somebody discarded right there. So there's a bunch of cars parked here along the road but the parking lot is empty. And you can see the burnt palm grove. I'll get closer to it. The LTVA across the street is almost completely empty. There's a few cars here. I'm wondering if these are locals. I just can't believe how burned it is. All right, hang on, I'll get us closer. Wow. This is really sad, but you know what? I'm kind of excited because look, 
things are starting to grow back already. Uh, but y'all remember from my previous videos how this was just amazingly covered in palm fronds. It was just incredible. Wow. It's really sad. Really sad. So this is the new setup here at the Hot Springs and like I was telling Corvus, you can definitely tell that the LTVA people are not maintaining it. <laughs> it has never looked this bad before, but the pools are relatively clean. There's just a lot of, I don't know, rust and that pipe that we normally had over here for the shower is gone, so I'm assuming it rusted through and I'm assuming the locals set this up. And you can turn all these different valves, valves to be like more or less. This one, more or less. <laughs> and then, um, woo, I almost tripped. And then somebody put up a horse trough and people when we got here, there was a bunch of locals here, but that water looks pretty disgusting. I don't think I'd get in that. But it does have a drain out the other side, I guess, once it gets too full. But this is the hot springs now. It's very, very different from what we're used to. But Corvus and I had a good soak, and uh, now we're headed back to camp. <laughs> 